Hi Kerry fans, so it's a little bit different today. What we're going to be doing is an unboxing of a Tinoco Floor One S3. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. <laughs> fans welcome back to the channel again those who need the channel if you're getting value out of this content then contemplate slap that subscribe button it's absolutely free ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes give us a big thumbs up and comment down below i will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment i'll pin it to the video so as i said at the beginning of the video we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing of a new product that's out there i've been getting a lot of requests to actually review this product so we'll unbox it first and then we'll do a review in the next video so what we'll do is see what's in there so what we'll do is we'll get straight to it Right, so this arrived today. What it is, is the Tinoco Floor One S3. Now this is sort of a mop system and a vacuum, and it's quite intelligent from what I've seen with the reviews and that, and it ha literally, it's literally just coming out in Australia. I don't know how long it's been out in the States. I reckon about 12 months, maybe less, and the same in the UK. There will be a link in the description of where you can actually get one of these from, if you like it, and I will be doing a follow-up video with the review of my personal view and what I think of it and if it is any good. And they do do an S12 version of a vacuum as well, which again is meant to be competing with Dyson. Now with these products, yes, they're a Chinese brand. I think they're pretty new to the market, but from what they've been getting the reviews and that, um, it, they're meant to be smashing it out of the water. So what we'll do is we'll jump in, see what's in the box. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so we're just gonna crack it over the Stanley knife. Now these in Australia retail at about $7.99. I will put a link in the description of where you can actually get them a lot cheaper. And I will put a link of where this actually came from as well. So make sure you check that out. So we'll just cut her open and see what we actually get in the box and how easy it is to assemble. Now these do come with a two year warranty from the manufacturer. And my only advice as well is if you do buy one, if you get it on your credit card, as most people will know, you get an extra 12 months when you buy anything kind of credit card. So initially you're gonna get the two year warranty that you get with it, and then you're gonna get another 12 months on your credit card for buying this vacuum or mop. So you've got a quick start guide on the lid. So we'll crack onto that in a minute and get it all set up. And apparently it's meant to give you at least 35 minutes of cleaning time. So we've got a little brush. So we'll just put that between to one side. And else we've got some sort of filter. So you do get two filters of each as well. So that must be a spare filter. Charging cable. Some sort of holster. I think that's a holster to hold your spare filter. Is that, is that that is? Yeah, I think that's to hold your filter. Got another holder. Again, I think that's for your other filter. So let's see what that's like. Yeah, so that's definitely for another filter. And then we've got the actual unit itself. That out. So it's very well packaged. So there's your brush roll. So that's your mop. It's quite small compared to a Kirby, but we'll see. I mean, it might good, be good for good small spaces like in your ensuite, stuff like that. Handle. Packaged really well, so other than that, they do like their packaging. Let's just do the main unit. So, right. Put your base to stand it on. I've got the main unit, which so we can get it out. Box 
to one side. We'll just unpackage everything and see what actually get in here. So this is the charging dock. how long I'm going to charge it for, but we will stick it on charge. Uh, this does connect to your home Wi-Fi as well, so you can download an app and it will tell you when it needs cleaning and everything like that. It's meant to be quite intelligent. Apparently it uses what they call an eye tool system and it detects whether the actual floor is dirty and it gives you a, a little symbol on the top here showing. There is a battery power symbol as well, letting you know how whether your battery needs charging. Apparently it talks to you quite a lot it's meant to be quite intelligent so we'll see how we go we'll just take this out now unlike the dysons as well with these tinnacos you don't you can't you don't have to just dot them you can leave them standing up on their own so that's one advantage let's pull this cardboard out there's the mop comes out of it Swivel, sounds quite good. Tank doesn't look that big, so we're going to see how good it is. Actually, clean, so we just drop that on the dock, like so. Put the handle in. Roll. That's the spare filter. I presume that's for cleaning out the tank. Charge up, and that is for your spare HEPA filter, which So those two on your base there, so you don't lose them. That one will go there. That one will go there. So you've got a spray bush roll, and you've got a spare filter. And that goes. And what we'll do is we'll just put it on charge. Just switch it on. And that should. Charging has commenced. So we'll come back to that when it's fully charged. So as you look at the features, we've got the eye loop featuring technology smart sense technology which apparently senses any dirt that's on the floor and whether your floor is clean and the display will change according to that so we'll see that as we go through the process of actually setting this up now as we go down again we've got the led display which monitors support performance you've got two times stronger suction than the eye floor that they had previously had out then you've got up to 35 minutes of runtime again, depending how long you've got that set for, whether you've got it on full power or whether you've got it on auto detect. Um, it can clean multiple surfaces, so it's meant to be good for hardwood floors, tiles, laminates, anything like that. Um, it's cordless, lightweight, easy for cleaning up dog mess. So any spillages from your dog when it's eating its lunch or food. And then you've got two tanks. You've always got clean water on hand with one water that's clean and then the other one that takes the dirty water. And you've got a Wi-Fi connection for the app that you can actually download. So with your display, you've got your battery level indicator, you've got your self-cleaning cleaning icon, which will let you know whether it needs self-cleaning, any brush roll if it's tangled indicator, auto mode, which you can set it on for your power indicator, and then you've got the dirty monitor monitoring loop, which is this bottom one here, which lets you know whether the floor is actually dirty. Um, again, you've got your Wi-Fi connection, so it will tell you whether you're connected to your Wi-Fi and then your power indicator on how how strong your battery life is. And it even tells you when you need to empty the dirty water. So you've got clean water if you're running out and then you've got dirty water whether it's blocked or you need to fill it up. So what we'll do is we'll jump in and see about downloading the app. So with the app, obviously I'm using Apple, so we're going to go to the Apple iStore and just search up Tinoco. So we'll just type that in. Tin. OK, 
Okay, and I'm assuming it's the Tinnacle Appliances Limited. Lifestyle Get. And we'll just download it and see how we go. And that's downloading. So that's downloaded, so we'll just open the app. And then obviously you've got to type in your email and your password. So before you type those in, you'll get an agreement. Do you agree? So we'll just put agree. And then we'll sign up and see how we go. So you're going to type in your password. Of your, I'm not going to show you my password and your email address. And then we'll just register it and we'll subscribe for any updates. So it's registering now. Add device. And see so what we've got. So we've got the hard floor cleaner. S3 series. And then when appliance is not on, the charging base, press and switch to ensure sufficient power. Just go next. Barcode position. We're going to presume we're going to take the barcode off there. And then press and hold the Wi Fi reset button for the 3S. Okay, so location. And I just got to type in my Wi Fi password. Okay, so just got to get the barcode off the back. Okay, so do we want to join? So it's going to come, do you want to join? And then you'll get like a countdown while it works out the device. Wants to join the Wi Fi, join. And we'll come back to that when it's connected. I don't know if you heard that. It did say network connected just as I turn the camera off. So I press start. So any devices you've got Tineco ones, you can add them all to this app, whether it be the vacuum or whether it be the Floor One S3. So if you've got an S12, you can add that as well. So as you can see, it's still charging. It's on 54% at the moment. And now we've connected the Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi symbols connected. And I'm assuming this tinner code just keeps flashing until it's actually fully charged. So as we flip around the wall or we put it on the dock, charging has commenced. It'll tell you it started charging. How cool is that? Well, right, so I hope you enjoyed that brief unboxing, just showing you actually what you get in that box. In the following video, and I'll put a, a link for it at the end, there will be a review. And we're going to be checking out what it does on a day to day basis, how it goes on mopping the actual bamboo floor and tiled floor and going through the cleaning process of it. Then there'll be a follow-up video with my final review on it and whether it can actually pick up messes as well. So make sure you check both those out. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll quit to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, and then actually there'll be a follow-up process in the next video there will be a video <clears throat> in the next couple of videos there'll be one we're going to do just checking the generic head